The next edition of the Sport Life program is on the air, and Alexandra Abramova is here with you. Hello. Let's start as usual with the most high-profile news from the world of mixed martial arts over the past week. Unable to cope with the weight race before meeting with Diaz, Hamza Chumov decided to change the weight category. These are all disputes about what kind of event took place on the eve of the evening of fights at number 279. Including fans of mixed martial arts do not stop discussing a possible conspiracy of the organization around the Chumayev DS fight. Hamza could not make the weight for the fight, and at the weight in himself it seems that he was not even upset. However, the side of the fighter of Chichen region insists that the weight race actually led to a severe reaction of the body to stress up to the convulsions and the loss of consciousness. The doctors of the UFC forbade the athlete to continue weight loss and the American promotion had to urgently shuffle the card. A little more than two weeks later, it became known that Hamza decided to change the weight category. Being number three of the light middleweight division of the UFC, the athlete further intends to continue his career in the middleweight category. And more about the news of foreign promotions, Ilya Fremenov, the representative of the Fight Club Kuzna with a record of 10-1 who performed three times in the series and won three knockout victories at 7-17th and the 51st event, is preparing for his debut in one of the most famous promotions in the world, 1FC. The tournament will be held on September 30th in Singapore, and Fremenov's opponent will be the ex-champion of the organization, Australian Martin Guyen, who has 14 wins and 5 losses. We wish you a successful debut and a beautiful victory. Meanwhile, on September 24th, the 56th MMA Series tournament at the sunny coast was held. The main event of the evening was another victory of Andrei Lebedev, a pupil of the Kuzna club. The title battle lasted only one round and ended with the refusal of the blue corner to continue the fight due to an injury sustained by a fighter from Egypt. Before this outcome, there were five most active minutes, from the first seconds of which Elshan Shuri attacked the opponent, hitting the body with his knee from the U-turn. This was followed by a small series of punches, which Andre did not leave unanswered. Atlas actively moved around the octagon in the attempt to catch up with the opponent with blows and at the same time to hide from each other's attacks as the initiative quickly changed the hands. By the middle of the round, Andre pinned the mur to the net and landed several blows with his elbow, after which he tried to grab the neck but with no results. By this time, the Egyptian himself was already looking for the opportunity to transfer Andre to the stalls, and now he himself tried to take his opponent to the net. But he did not have enough strength to push Lebedev. Having escaped from the fight at the net, Andre worked mainly as a first number, taking more and more of Elshan Shuri's strength. The only chance for the Egyptian to win was a successful job at the stalls, which was never realized. The Atlas left for the break, during which the blue corner announced its refusal to continue the fight. Lebedev celebrated his seventh victory in the series and the eighth in his career, and the acquisition of the bronze belt of the winner of the MMA series. Another representative of the Kuzna club took the long-awaited victory. Alexander the Wolfhound Romanov finally managed to break out of the series of failures. The new exit against Prince Ferris was extremely important for Alexander in the view of the last two failures. The Atlas started the fight at a calm pace, not trying to lead each other to the energy-consuming actions, and spent the whole round in the careful exchange of rare blows. By the end of the initial segment, the duel shifted to a fight at the net, but the Wolfhound failed to overturn Ferris to the deck, according to the similar scenario actions developed in the second round. However, now after the exchange of single kicks, Duramanov knocked his opponent to the floor in the middle of the five-minute period, and then controlled him, not allowing to earn points and the strikes. A minute before the gong, the prince still managed to find a foothold and to return the course of the fight to the rack. Here, Duramanov managed to match his opponent in terms of the number of damaging actions. In the third round, Fares switched from the single kicks to the short jabs, reducing the distance of the fight, which opened the opportunity to Alexander for applying the double blows. In total, the Atlas spent three full rounds in the octagon, during which Fares managed to slightly overtake the opponent in terms of the number but not the quality of damaging actions. It should also be taken into account that the Egyptian fighter entered the fight with a yellow card because he didn't make the weight. Alexander Duramanov won his fight absolutely, and the number of attacks made and reached the goal that you see in the statistics are not accounted by judges, only actions with damages are counted. Those are bringing to canvas heavy blows or the control at the net. 
there are some questions about the bout Alexander Duramana versus Ahmed Fares. To be honest, I don't see any reasons for such questions. Fares didn't make his weight, so his first round was already with a yellow card. During the fight, he did not show any effective but useless attack. In third round, he made some jabs, but it was not as weighty. I think I'm technically stronger. He is a good guy, a strong-willed, worthy opponent, but I think I was stronger than him. I'm not challenging the judge's decision, but I think I was better today. I didn't beat enough. I wanted better. I wanted to work serially. I almost kicked my foot off him in the first round. And so, in general, the benefit won. He also came up with a yellow card. I do not know how much he waited, but he was a little bigger. I want to fight with Wunderlei again. It doesn't matter when, in which way. Wunderlei, let's go. After this fight, I will fight with you. Egyptian athlete Mahmoud Tantavi does not manage to hold out in our octagon for at least one full round. This time, by the choke at the third minute and 34 second, he was caught by the reception performed by Maxim Kolosov, representing the fight club Kuznia. The meeting between Tantavi and Kolosov lasted a little more than one half round. At the same time, Maxim took the center of the cage from the very first seconds. He managed to grab the opponent's leg from the very first low kick, which provoked the emergency pass to the legs performed by Tantavi. However, this action did not lead to the desired result, and after a couple of moments, Mahmoud found himself under the opponent. Maxim did not immediately manage to climb into the full mount position, and he only struck from the side control position. Maxim managed to sit on the queer kick Tantavi for a short time, the Atlas quickly returned to the center of the cage and continued working at the close range until they found themselves on the canvas again. Maxim quickly managed to find the same position of the full mount but again for a short time. This time, Mahmoud turned the course of the duel in the opposite direction and already put his opponent at the unfavorable position and began to finish Kolosov with sweeping blows to the body. However, the Egyptian's endurance did not last long. Soon he ran out of strength and again found himself under Kolosov. The outcome of the fight was decided by choke at the third minute and 34 seconds of the initial round. Congratulations to Maxim on his third consecutive victory in the series. The fastest knockout of the evening was presented to the audience by Alek Manjouf. His entrance into the cage against Haysama Saeed was the third successful in the series of four performances on our side. In total, the representative of the club Kuznia has 10 wins and 3 losses. The representative of the Egyptian top team club made his debut on our side. Before his entry into the octagon, it was known that he was a good knockouter. 60% of his victories were obtained with the help of TKO and KO. 30% were accounted for by submissions. We knew from the defeats that most of the unsuccessful outcomes were due to suffocating and painful techniques. It is worth noting that before entering the cage with a leg, Said did not perform for five years. This is probably why Manjou's first hit shocked the Egyptian athlete a little. Said wanted to grab his opponent's leg, but soon found himself in a position of passive defense, allowing Manjou to finish himself off with a heavy and sweeping blows to the head. After 20 seconds from the start, the referee stopped the fight and announced the early victory of the representative of the Krasnodar Kuzna. Congratulations to Alec on another victory. And this was the Sport Life program and its host Alexandra Abramova. The next tournament will take place very soon. MMA Series 57 Moscow Calling. So follow the news on the MMA Series website and in our social networks. And also watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com.